All right. Yeah. Hey, Marlon, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Hey, uh, uh, walk us through the play there um, on your touchdown there yesterday. I don't even know how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened, man. Um, just blessed. Um, I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I'm still kind of shaking up about it. Uh-huh. What, uh, did you see? Did you just kind of see the back over there, or are you just drifting that way? I mean, usually you're going straight ahead, right? I, it looked a little. I don't know if that was a call or you just kind of um, did your thing, or you know, what was it? I mean, um, it was just me making a football play, and I mean, mm -hmm. um, I was coming out for contain, but then one of my other guys already had contain, and I seen the back, and I just veered off. It just something. Something just pulled me that way. You know what I mean? I just made a football play, man. I'm just best to, to have made that play. Yeah, and how how was it feeling, you know, uh you set, you know, <laughs> playing uh uh you know, to be able to contribute and make a big play like that for the defense. I know Dion said y'all been trying to score for a minute and uh was glad you set it off for y'all yesterday. Yes, of course. And I mean, um I mean I had a sack dance. It was gonna be real nice on my sack dance. You know what I mean? But I wasn't expecting an interception dance. So it was kind of surprising. <laughs> it was like one of them deals like, man, I just got to do something. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, Marlon. Yes, sir. Michael? Yeah, Marlon, I don't know if you know this or not. You were the third defensive lineman to ever pick six Brady, like, in the first since 2009. Does that mean anything to you? Did you does that put any context? To this for you? Nah. <laughs> That's bizarre. That's a wild fact, <laughs> man. 2009, bro. Dude kind of old, man. <laughs> what, were, what were you doing in 2009? I think I was in middle school. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. I used to watch this man all the time. It's crazy. <laughs> that, the, the fact that you did this on Tom Brady, is there any significance to that like have you thought about like is this like i'm gonna tell my grandkids this like is this like a life highlight like where, where does this rank for you oh, oh oh of course of course it's it's a highlight forever i mean uh miss tom brady <laughs> who, who wouldn't want to do something good against tom brady there's a lot of defensive backs that haven't did this and i mean um just doing it against him that makes it even more better you know what i mean like i remember doing an interview um coming into the league there was like one thing you want to do and i was like sack tom brady and, you know, I mean, I got my first sack of my career against Tom Brady this year in the first game against Temple. Now I come back with the interception for, for a touchdown. Man, it's, it's like, <laughs> you know, what else can you ask for? <laughs> when you, when you, like you, you were explaining what you did, was there a point where you realized, like, oh, wow, this this is in my hand? Because it looked like you even made a one-handed catch. Like, was there a point you realized, like, this was in my hand? And, like, did was it momentum that took you into the end zone? Or were you actually running at that point? <laughs> oh, I was going to go. <laughs> I was finna go. I thought I was gonna run about 30 yards. Can't lie. But um nah man. Um, you know, like we, we we do this stuff all the time, just playing around before practice. I don't know if like y'all ever been out there practicing right before. Like we just sit there and play catch all the time. You know, acting like we're receivers, acting like we something like D line, you know, we always wanna be small. You know what I mean? Big guys always wanna be small, small guys always wanna be big. So we're just doing those type of things, and I mean, um, luckily like we used to try to do one hands all the time. We try to one hand all the time, man. It just that thing hit that hand this time, and it stuck. You know, it stuck to me. So I, I, that's, that's all I can say. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Tori. Yeah, Marlon. I know we could talk forever about that play specifically, but I kind of wanted a, a big. I have a big like picture question, just in terms of you know, kind of health has been elusive for you kind of over the course of the last year and a half, but it really does feel like you are kind of stepping into your own uh, because you have been healthy. And, and I was just kind of curious how that health and just kind of feeling good within yourself has has changed things for you this year. Yes, and I mean, um, uh, uh, that has changed a lot, you know, me being healthy. But, um, you know, like I can tell anybody, like, I still haven't grown into my body yet. Like, I'm, this is not what I'm going to be in two or three years. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be this size. I'm not going to be none of this. Like, it's going to be totally different. And I mean, I never had that full off season to where I could just go out there and do what I wanted to. I had banged up with surgery. 
So a lot of my off season I was down. You know what I mean? So that that has a lot to play with it. You know what I mean? Like, but coming into this year, you know, finishing this year strong, um, still doing the little things like on the Mondays, the Tuesdays, the light light days. You know, trying to get myself, make sure that my knees are good, my every everything on my body good, strong, whatever I can do. You know what I mean? That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So I can make sure I can withstand the rest of this season. Because I feel like we can make a playoff run. I really do feel like we're still in a position to make a playoff run. The only thing we have to do is control what we can control, like, and remember December. Mm-hmm. You know, like everybody used to say in college, you know, remember November. You know what I mean? Because, you know, ball is normally be done in November. But right now we're going to remember December. Then we're going to finish it off in January. And then we're going to see what we what we be at the end of the year. You talk about kind of still being in it, and and I'm just curious kind of where your confidence comes from in regards to this team and and what it kind of has ahead of it. I mean, I just feel like every game we always like right there. You know what I mean? We always right there. I feel like something that we can change is just one little tweak or one little play could change the whole game. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, man, the guys that we got in our room, the guys that that come to work every day, we get we're a playoff team. We are, and I mean, um, we just have to put it out there on display every Sunday. You know, what I mean, we got to win football games. That's the biggest thing. Awesome, thank you, Marlon. Josh, I'm good, thank you. Zach, two things, my man. Uh, one, where's the football? <laughs> this is my locker. <laughs> locker, where will it be? Where are you gonna put it? I want to put it over my TV in my living room. All right, very good. Uh, and it's you a, say you grew up watching Brady. I'm pretty sure you grew up watching uh, Cam Newton a, as well. Um, the opportunity to face him and the problems he presents. Uh, he's a big time, big time player, man. We're playing against um, with Cam Newton, uh, coming from Auburn, um, running quarterback. You know, everybody hates a running quarterback. And I mean, um, just playing against Carolina again, man. Um, I got a bad taste in my mouth. You know what I mean? So it's it's work week. Uh, Dila, do you have any follow-ups? I'm assuming that's a no. I'm good. Uh, I'm good. Um, Gabby, thanks a lot. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, you're welcome. Michael, anything? Yeah, actually, I got one more thing for you. Uh, how? What was like your phone like post game after doing that? <laughs> that job was bizarre. <laughs> it was bizarre, man. From Twitter to Snap to Facebook. So Instagram, show TikTok. I was on TikTok. I was like, dang, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, Did, everything, man. It was just, it was just, it was crazy, man. Was there anyone that you heard from that, like, you hadn't heard from in like a decade, like, like a middle school classmate, like you were talking about in '09, being like, like you were just like, wait, who are you, almost? Like, <laughs> nah, man. I heard from a lot of people, man. The one that shocked me the most, man. Um, I heard from Coach Raheem Morris. You know what I mean? Coach Raheem was behind my back a lot last year. Um, Cause you know, like he was, he felt like I was one of his guys last year. And um, he hit me up and he was like, man, congrats. You know, that's big time, bro. And like that, that, that meant a lot to me. You know what I mean? That, you no, know, they still see, well, people still seeing it, seeing improvement every day. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yes, Tori, anything? Awesome. Thanks you guys.